Good to be with you. Matt Harmon, Steve Jolly from the New York Red Bulls Radio Network. We've got each and every game for you on our New York Red Bulls Radio Network, our TuneIn Radio channel, and the New York Red Bulls app. Uh, Steve, it's a Red Bull team that's looking forward to some reinforcements with Drew Yearwood and with Samuel Tete coming on. Uh, we're going to spend some time breaking these guys down a little bit and give our Red Bull fans just a little bit of insight as to uh, what we, and especially you, see how these guys guys maybe fit in big picture. If you were uh, Drew, you're Samuel, and you're at the game the other night, and you saw the team play, I would assume, and that's not to say anything about specific players or anything like that, that you would be pretty excited knowing that there's a really good opportunity that sooner rather than later, you'll probably get a chance to play. You, you think of Drew Yearwood, he comes over from Wood FC, 20 years old, signed the young DP contract. So the expectations are certainly there. When you look at his skill set, he does really seem to fit into the Red Bull style of play yeah. and the profile of that central defensive type midfielder, a box to box type guy that can do a lot of things. I agree. You know, if you look, I got my notes. I was well prepared. You probably can't see him there, but I want to give you just some top line things that when I first saw him, what came out. I mentioned names like Dax McCarty and Darlington Nagby, partly because I think he probably has the greatest comparison between those two players, meaning that he's very active, he's very engaged, he's not afraid to demand the ball uh, you know, in the midfield, which is always nice to see, especially since he sits back more than, uh, than most central midfielders. And uh, one of the things I think, look, well, there's two things I'm really excited about with Drew. First and foremost, that he's active. He's tenacious. He gets in the tackles. Reminds me a lot of a guy that used to play on our team, Tyler Adams. Not giving that comparison yet. Not giving that comparison yet. Uh, another thing that I'm really excited about, and you know, you and I kind of allude to this in some of the broadcasts, is that here's a player you're going to see in some of these highlights where he has absolutely no fear getting the ball, receiving the ball, turning, and making long diagonal balls. Why I think that's so important, especially in the position that he'll be playing in, is that it opens up the field of play. I use the term bulldog, and when you look at these clips, a guy that wants to win the ball will pull up uh, the first one here. From a defensive perspective, Steve, um, he, he, he can be, and I say he, being Drew Yearwood, he can be tenacious. He can get after it. He can win the ball. You're going to see him. He's number four here. He's all over the field, not afraid to mix it up a little bit. Um, quite frankly, I use him as a great example for my younger son. He's a little bit smaller, and I tell him that he needs to be a little bit more aggressive. Right here is a perfect example of how much space he can cover. Really smart in terms of covering angles. Uh, we always talk about the importance of a especially center um, midfielder that's kind of withdrawn a little bit, that he understands spaces and he understands angles. And you can see right there, with just uh, in terms of you know how he thinks mentally in terms of where he needs to be on the field to help support his team. And I think so important when you look when this Red Bull team has had success over the course of the last couple of years, when they've got that guy that sits right on top of the two center back, whether it's Aaron Long, Tim Parker, any combination, uh, it, it makes those two players specifically not, not look better, but it makes their job so much easier. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, and I think you're going to see in the next highlight package of, of Drew, just in terms of, you know, how well he just closes down uh, defensively on players and how quickly he does it. Well, if you can defend well, that's one side, but you got to be good with the ball uh, as well. And, and in our next clip here, you'll see a little bit. And again, we're just looking at, at little clips here just to give our, our fan base, what these guys will look like and how they transition into Major, major League Soccer. Uh, but with the ball, Drew Yearwood. Yeah, it is. Um, you know, one of the things that I was talking about right here is that you can see he feels very comfortable with the ball. He's very patient, but again, not afraid for that long diagonal ball. And I gotta tell you, the way we play, that is going to be a key driver in terms of us opening up spaces and something that I guarantee you other MLS teams are looking at in terms of, you know, striking a little bit of fear. So I, I, I'm excited. I told you about the pace, box to box pace, his aggressiveness, but uh, that ball right there that we saw right there, that's an intangible that not many players in Major League Soccer, at least in that position, uh, offer their teams. You think of the Red Bull system, Steve, and maybe the first word that pop, pops off the screen a little bit or off the paper would be, you have to be able to press. You have to be able to transition win the ball, not just want the ball, but get the ball. 
Well, there you go. You see, he presses, he puts people, you know, on their heels a little bit. He covers tons of ground. I mean, this is essentially how you play your over 50 league. You know, you're just all over the place. You're a bulldog. And, uh, you know, he obviously has seen your highlights as well. You like here, you can see, look at how much he stretches up field. Um, and, and what's the idea in that Red Bull system? Isn't it always to make other players feel uncomfortable? Um, and you can see here, look, that's a great transition. Players that have the ability to go north and south and feel comfortable going north and south are difference makers. That's why Tyler Adams is Tyler Adams. That's why Dax McCarty has been in this league forever. On the, on the flip side, we'll transition into our, our other signing, and that being uh, Samuel Tete coming over from Red Bull Salzburg. He is on loan uh, for the remaining part of the year with the option to buy. He's been loaned out a couple of times, but he is a national team player uh, for Ghana. He's 24 years old. You look at his experience over the last couple of years, playing in the World Cup, the U20 World Cup, playing many Europa League games, some Champion League qualifiers, and the one thing that I think you're going to see probably first and foremost about Tete is how crafty he is and how comfortable he is in the box. Here's a player who's going to run at players and feel comfortable with the ball at his feet, trying to get in the box. And uh, and he's not looking to score from 30 yards out, 25 yards out. He's looking to beat players and slot them in. And, uh, and currently, you know, that's kind of what we need right now. This, I think, will serve him well in Major League Soccer. Not that it's going to be easy for him, but does he have a striker's mentality? Is he afraid to take shots from distance to challenge a goal? You can see right there just outside the 18, just off frame a little bit. But you like the idea of, is he, and I say it in a good way, Stephen, we talk about it in our broadcast. As a striker, are you a little bit selfish when you go forward? I, I want to see my, my forwards sell me. I'll give you an example. Uh, my favorite player in MLS of all time, Tab Ramos. Uh, a lot of people say he's not very speedy, but in terms of change of direction and change of speed, those quick bursts, I think you saw right there in that highlight package that Tete is really comfortable with the ball at his feet and making those changes really quickly. As a defender, that's the hardest to defend. The two biggest things that as a defender to, to defend, the hardest things to defend, are when players are running at you, and then when they have that quick change of direction and change of speed. Spoken from experience as a long time wow. in Major yeah. League Soccer. Uh, let's finish with this highlight clip. You like the opportunities, you like the chances, uh, but your job as a striker yeah. is to fall in the back of the net. So let's wrap this up uh, with some goals from Samuel Tete and see him at his finest. And that is when he finalizes some of these chances. Yeah, you know, we joke about it all the time. And it's like, listen, I don't need you to be pretty when you're a forward. I just need you to score goals. And you can see here just how comfortable he is with that first touch and in front of the box. He does what's necessary. You see there, how many times do you see a forward try to play the perfect ball right there? He just goes and toes it in. It's all about getting goals. It's not like, like how you score the goal, it's how many. And you can see just how town he is in terms of his pace. He's really smart in terms of finding the spaces. He's so, so comfortable with the ball at his feet inside the box. And that's something that, uh, you know, we're going to need desperately come September and October as we kind of go forward with the season. You know, I love as we watch these, Steve, uh, it, it's a variety of ways that he's scoring. All start with one common theme, off ball movement, getting open space, whether it's a diagonal run, whether it's a run between uh, two of the defenders, finding open space, finding the opportunity for a guy like a Kaku to play you uh, in space, play you over the top, and then what you do after it. So the off ball movement was one, and then uh, on the first two for sure, just the composure inside the box when there's a lot of traffic and a lot of hectic activity, not getting yourself unnerved and still being able to score. You see, and I, I think you, you hit the nail right there, buddy. Um, in terms of you know you, strikers that are you know off the field play or off the ball who are making good runs and are being smart or pushing themselves high. Steve, this was a lot of fun to break down the Red Bulls' newest signings, Drew Yearwood and Samuel Tete. Looking forward, obviously, and seeing these guys on the field all during the balance of this MLS season. And as always, looking forward to getting back on the air with you, my, my friend. Well, buddy, you didn't even say anything about my sign. I felt like I was in a jail here. I needed to brighten up the room and, and put some good energy out there. And I, I'm, you didn't even say anything. You kind of hurt my feelings a little bit. Uh, listen, sometimes a quiet response is the best response. Recognizing and knowing it's there, never an issue between wow. the two of us. 
respect. I appreciate you, buddy. Appreciate your time here, partner. As always, a reminder, you can catch Steve and I on the New York Red Bulls radio network. We broadcast a variety of ways. Our TuneIn Radio channel, download the TuneIn Radio app. We can also be found on the New York Red Bulls app. Download that one as well or at NewYorkRedBulls.com. Looking forward to seeing both Drew Yearwood, Samuel Tete all during the course of this 2020 MLS campaign. For Steve Jolly, I'm Matt Harmon. Thanks for watching.